Welcome to the Almost Impossible Quiz. I'm Rohit Jaikaran. Today, we're doing a special on Mr. India. Uh, I just happened to find one of these uh, at home. It's apparently a disposable puke bowl, uh, but it kind of works for, for today. Uh, but, you know, it's just wonderful that uh, all of you are joining us right now. It's uh, going to be a fun quiz uh, where we challenge you and see if you can answer these questions from this 1987 sci-fi classic Mr. India. And uh, it's nice to see uh, we've got uh, Partha, we've got Manisha, Vanessa, uh, Cyrus. Thank you very much, guys, for, for joining us. Uh, in fact, um, it's uh, quite incredible that today we actually have a live interview as well. And I didn't mention this earlier, but we have a live interview on a Zoom call. We have with us the one and only Mr. India. So, uh, Mr. India, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Uh, it's just wonderful to have you here. Uh, hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? I'm fine. It's uh, great to have you here. I'm a big fan. I've been following you for many, many years, uh, Mr. India. And uh, I must say that you are truly, truly an inspiration, sir. Thank you. But uh, one thing, Mr. India, is that a lot of people don't believe that you exist. Uh, क्या बोलूं उनसे कहना कि कल 5 बजे मैं उन्हें ऑफिस में मिलने आऊंगा दैट्स वंडरफुल माइट बी अ लिटिल डिफिकल्ट क्योंकि आजकल लॉकडाउन है प्लस टुमारो इज सैटरडे एनीवे मिस्टर इंडिया आई आई सेंट यू सम क्वेश्चंस फॉर दिस क्विज डिड यू गेट अ चांस टू सी देम आपको क्वेश्चंस कैसे लगे बहुत अच्छा लगा थैंक थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू इट्स ग्रेट हैविंग यू हियर मिस्टर इंडिया थैंक यू सो मच शुक्रिया सो Hello guys, that was our live uh, Zoom call with uh, the one and only Mr. India. It's now time for us to get started. Uh, in case you have friends of yours who are uh, big fans of uh, the film Mr. India, uh, share this uh, link with them so that uh, they can also participate. It's very simple. I'll ask you a question. I'll give you four options. Uh, you have to choose one, two, three or four. Just respond in the comments with one of those answers and um, uh, you're done. Uh, also, a big thank you going out uh, to Christine. Thank you so much for helping with the show. Uh, thank you so much, Pradeep. And thank you so much, Vipin, as well, for helping uh, put a lot of this stuff together. So let's get started with the almost impossible quiz. Today's special is, of course, Mr. India. And question number one. How do people in Mogambo's criminal organization greet each other? Do they say Namaste? Do they say Hola? Do they say Hail Mogambo? Or do they say Hello? You know the answer. One, two, three, or four. Message in right now. And we're going to see who gets this one absolutely right. Now, come on. These are the easy ones. You know, I, 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 it's called the almost impossible quiz. But, you know, we give you these easy ones so that, you know, you can't get moving with it it becomes a little easier to get started okay respond one two three or four how do they greet each other now of course uh, the correct answer to this question is uh, very 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 simple uh, they of course always greet each other with the call hail mogambo you can hear that hail mogambo yes hail mogambo. it's uh, the cry of uh, uh, Mogambo's people. In fact, uh, this time around, everybody got the absolutely correct answer. So um, good on you guys. Uh, we've got Richard Hazel, Arjun, Manisha, Santosh, uh, and the rest of you as well have got that absolutely spot on. Question number two. We're going to go through 20 questions. Uh, remember that the record right now is 14 correct answers in the last two weeks. Okay. So this question, what is the name of the scientists who makes the uh, formula to make a man invisible. Uh, I know Mogambo always refers to it as a formula, but at the end of it, it looked a little more like a ghadi. It was actually, I think, what we would call one of the first wearable devices uh, that we had ever seen. So, uh, who was it? Was it Dr. Sinha? Was it Dr. Jagdish Varma? Was it Dr. Prem Kurana or Dr. Murli Prasad Sharma? Obviously, two of those answers are absolute googlies. Uh, two of them are actually doctor characters in this film. One, of course, is uh, from uh, Munna by MBBS. Munna is actually Dr. Murli Prasad Sharma. And, uh, of course, Dr. Prem Kurana is from our first quiz, which is Andaz Apna Apna. Dr. Sinha is the living scientist. 
the scientist who is arun who is mr india's father is dr jagdish verma so that is the correct answer uh, nafiz and um, uh, partha um, dr prem khurana is andaz apna apna i know he he is a famous doctor uh, you know but the correct answer of course in this particular case is dr jagdish verma uh, the fact is we only see his photograph in this film he never actually is seen in the film though question number 3 why did calendar's parents give him such an interesting name calendar why is his name calendar because one he was born on a special date two his parents wanted to find a name that started with c or was it that he was always late so they called him calendar so he was always in the ballpark of being on time or last uh, what was it that his parents just wanted a name uh, in english what is the answer one two three or four message in right now i can see that there are people who are already giving uh, some wrong answers let me play you the correct answer in fact i actually have a clip of this one from the film yes to meri samajh mein aaj tak ye nahi aaya ke tumhara naam tumhare maa baap ne calendar kyun rakha ji wo english mein kuch naam rakhna chahte the there you go that's the answer they just wanted a name in english so uh, so congratulations uh, we've got a few people who've got the wrong answer uh, yes we've got manisha and indu uh, who got the wrong answer we've got nafis as well uh, who's got the wrong answer uh, but the rest of you guys have absolutely got this absolutely bang on okay next question question number 4 for how many years has calendar not received a salary from arjun was it 5 months 5 years 5 weeks or 3 years now it's difficult to kind of think where does this line come in but it actually does come in the film um, you know arjun uh, arun is telling calendar ki you're so lazy you don't do anything i'm not going to pay you and then calendar responds saying it's not like you have paid me for x amount of time what is it 5 months 5 years 5 weeks or 3 years i know this is a, a rather tough one okay so uh, the correct answer to this one is actually 5 years he hasn't got paid in 5 years uh, so we've got uh, richard is answering 5 yeah uh, that's the wrong answer your options are 1 2 3 or 4 Uh, in fact uh, we've got uh, quite a few people who've got the wrong answer it's always nice to see when people get the wrong answer it means i win uh, so jinu arjun payal santosh suraj uh, vipin uh, chirag hazel <coughs> wrong answer okay next question you know the answer 1 2 3 or 4 how does arjun wake the kids up in the morning does he use an alarm clock very traditional Does he use a technology called bin badal barsat? Does he use a ghanti, which is once again quite traditional, or does he use the technology of Ghana? In other words, he sings to wake them up. Now remember, this is a melodramatic film. There's a lot of singing. There's a lot of dancing. What could it be? Was is it one, two, three, or four? In fact, uh, the correct answer for this one, I actually do have a sound clip that I can play for you. and this is what the correct answer is if we can get the system to play it but it doesn't seem to be playing it for some reason uh, okay i think we've just lost complete audio on this one the correct answer is bin badal barsat so what basically he does is he's got these uh, set of sprays these uh, water jets that he switches on in the morning and it sprays all the kids and then they wake up and uh, once they wake up they are little upset and saying can we wake up with this bin badal barsat sometime so question number 6 who does seema soni who's uh, the role that uh, shri devi plays think arun is when she meets him for the first time does she think he is mr india does she think he is a news reporter does she think he he is a 25 year old who's been in jail 50 times or does she think that he is a person who wants to place a classified ad what is the answer is it 1 2 3 or 4 message in right now 
if you know the correct answer. Uh, meanwhile, I thought I'd also um, share something with you. Uh, I've got some, uh, I'm following Mr. India these days on uh, Instagram. And uh, these are some of the photographs from uh, his Instagram. This is Mr. India standing in front of the Eiffel Tower. Uh, it's uh, quite an incredible picture. Uh, you can see he's standing right there in front of the Eiffel Tower. It's just a pleasure to see. Uh, anyway, the correct answer is a 25 year old who has been to jail 50 times. Uh, Vanessa, Santosh, Hazel, Shane, uh, Arjun, congratulations. You got the answer absolutely bang on. All right. And next question. OK. Uh, in, in fact, I also have some interesting photos of uh, uh, Miss India. I'll share with you uh, more of those in a bit. So. <laughs> this is a tough one. What is the name of the newspaper Seema works for? Okay. The editor of that paper is Mr. Guy Tunde. What is the name of the newspaper? Is it Times of India? Is it Crimes of India? Is it Hindustan Times? Or is it Daily Crimes? What do you think is the answer? Now, to be absolutely fair, this answer comes once for like a, a fraction of a second when you're watching the film. Is it uh, Times of India, Crimes of India, Hindustan Times, or Daily Crimes? One, two, three, or four. Uh, let me actually show you the visual that shows up. This is what you would have seen when uh, they're leaving that um, newspaper. The correct answer is Crimes of India. And uh, once again, I can see quite a few of you have actually got the answer right. Uh, we've got Shane, Arjun, Nafiz, Chirag, John. Hey, John, you're, jo John is a previous winner on the show as well. Um, so actually, Chirag as well. You were one of our top scorers in our previous rounds. OK, next question. Now, even though Arun, who's Mr. India, is generally fearless, what is he scared of? Is he scared of Mogambo? Is he scared of cockroaches? Is he scared of Seema? Or is he scared of guns? What do you think is the correct answer? Oops. I see, I see we've got the audio working now. OK. What is it? Is it one, two, three, or four? What is Arjun? scared of what is that one thing he's scared of message in right now i think most of you are getting the answer absolutely right uh, which is uh, good to see uh, the correct answer of course is cockroaches in fact uh, he's scared of cockroaches the kids are not scared of cockroaches so when there is a cockroach which shows up in seema's room the kids who were hiding till now had to come out and kill the cockroach and that's how they realize hey Cockroaches. I see everyone's got that absolutely right. So congratulations, all of you. Uh, next question. And uh, in a few minutes, I'm also going to show you some photographs of when uh, the great Mr. India met some world leaders. So stick around for that. Next question. Where does Arun find the device that can make a person invisible? In other words, what we defined as the wearable. OK, where does he find it? OK, does he find it in a safety deposit box? Does he find it in his house? Does he find it in the back of a photo frame? Or does he find it in Dr. Sinha's office? Where do you think he finds this particular um, device that can help make a person invisible? One, two, three or four. Message in right now. Hmm. I can see, I can see there are a few people getting the wrong answer on this one, but a lot of you are getting the right one. Now, I know that many of you are saying Dr. Sinha's office. Now, the thing is, he does find it in Dr. Sinha's house, but it's actually at the back of a photo frame. And the photo, of course, is a photo of his dad. So he opens the back of this and he finds this device. And it's incredible because that device has been turned off for 30 years, but its LED lights still work. Those are the batteries that drove Nokia's for years. It's just incredible. He just put it on all the LED lights are just working. OK, this is uh, one of my favorite uh, questions. When do you hear the words in this film? King Kong, Ping Pong and Lassie PC in this film? Is it 
during the song Hawa Hawaii? Is it during the climax scene with Mogambo? Is it when the kids are playing on the beach? Or is it when the kids are around the table? What is the answer? One, two, three, or four. What do you think is the answer? When do you get to hear this particular sound? Or these words, in fact, King Kong, Ping Pong, La CPC. To be fair, you also hear Honolulu and uh, Mombasa. I think that was the first time the word Mombasa ever came in a song, but it does. The correct answer, and for this, in fact, let me see if I can play this for you. Uh, yeah i think we've just our equipment today has just decided that it's going to kill us the correct answer of course is hawa hawaii in the start of the song they go through this whole series of things and that's when you hear uh, these great words king kong ping pong lassie pc all of those coming together all right that's uh, 10 questions down and we've got 10 more to go next question what disguise does seema wear when she goes to the social club to gamble to earn money, uh, does she dress up as Miss Hawa Hawaii? Does she just dress up as Charlie Chaplin? Uh, does she dress up as a gangster or does she dress up as a police officer? In case you're wondering why I'm wearing this, is uh, just to pay tribute to the film Mr. India. Okay. So, what is uh, what is Seema? In other words, um, Sri Devi. What does she disguise herself as? Hawaii, Hawaii, Charlie Chaplin, a gangster or a police officer? What is the answer? And uh, for this particular one, in fact, I have a, a clip that I can share with you as well. The correct answer is Charlie Chaplin. Of all the strangest things in a weird club which is doing illegal gambling, somebody dresses up like Charlie Chaplin, goes in and magically wins a lot of money, thanks to Mr. India, though. Uh, so that is the correct answer. I, it, it, it's weird. There's some really strange things that happen in this film, but it, it, it keeps you amused. You laugh. You have a good um, time listening to that stuff. It's, it's quite amazing. Okay, next question. When the cops arrive at Daga's house, after Mr. India has beaten all of them, because, you know, they like to come in a little late, you know, make an entrance. Uh, one of the cops finds a suitcase full of drugs. So the cop takes the drugs and he smells them and then he identifies them as what? As heroin, drugs, cocaine or crystal meth? What do you think is the answer? We're getting audio from like the previous version. Okay. In fact, let me see if I can try to play... Uh, the audio for this particular clip. The cop smells this these drugs and he looks at it and he says, what is it? Heroin, drugs, cocaine or crystal meth? He smells it and says, drugs. <laughs> that's the way films were in 1987. It's like, ah, what is this? Mm. <laughs> so, uh, congratulations, Vanessa, Santosh, uh, uh, Rohit, John, Christine, you guys got the answer absolutely right. I know it's it's like a weird question. It's like, how do I, how on earth am I supposed to know the answer to this one? Okay. Now, this one is a tough one because a lot of the kids were never really identified in this film. We don't know who they are. Nowhere is it written. But how many kids does Arun take care of? Does he take care of 15 kids, 8 kids, 10 kids or 12 kids? Okay, uh, message one, two, three, or four. I, I, I know two of those answers are very easy to get confused because you're like, ah, 10, round number. Oh, 12, one dozen, 15, a lot. Eight, mm, maybe not. What do you think is the answer? 15, eight, 10, or 12? Honestly, um, the, there have been multiple times I had to pause the film to actually count the number of kids. The correct answer is actually 10 kids. So there are 10 kids that he takes care of. Uh, and of course, of those 10 kids, one of them had a spectacular Bollywood career, Aftab Shiv Desani. Uh, he's one of the kids. And uh, wonderful. Nobody got the right answer. How did that happen? How did that happen? A lot of you fell for the 12, no? <laughs> no, but actually it's 10 kids. So uh, if, if no one's got the answer right, means I win. 
Jason. Okay, next question. <laughs> this one, you cannot Google this answer. Actually, you can because I actually submitted the answer on Quora yesterday. How many times does Mogambo say Mogambo Kushua? How many times does he say it in the film? Does he say 24 times, 15 times, 9 times, or 3 times? Answer 1, 2, 3, or 4 in the comments. How many times do you think he says it? Because, you know, it's such an iconic dialogue. And, you know, this is the time when in Bollywood films, they would repeat a dialogue multiple times. You know, like there will be one character who will keep saying, Gai bhaes pani mein, Gai bhaes pani mein. And then Mogambo will keep saying, Mogambo, Khushua. Mogambo, Kushua. And you can see very often he's very upset with people and he's very upset with the Laluzias working for him because this is also the time when Bollywood movies had the worst gangsters. They have a machine gun but can't shoot. Like really. Correct answer is nine times. He only says Mogambo Kushua nine times in the film. Now, if you Google this answer now on Quora, you will find my response to it because some guy a few years ago asked, how many times does Mogambo Kushua come in the film? Answer is nine times. Okay, this is even tougher than the previous one. Mogambo calls one of his henchmen Bevakuf. Although most of them, to be fair, are Bevakufs. Who was it? Was it Daga? Was it Teja? Was it Dr. Dr. Fu Manchu? Or was it Mr. Walcott? Who do you think is that? The, what, who do you, what do you think is the answer? One, two, three, or four? To be fair, this is tough. But let me give you a clue. Daga and Teja are, of course, his primary henchmen. Dr. Fu Manchu is uh, one of the characters who shows up towards the end. Mr. Walcott is played by Bob Christo, who, to be fair, I don't think he ever meets... Um, Mogambo in the film. The correct answer is actually Dr. Fu Manchu. There is no way of knowing this one. But to be fair, it's interesting the connections that this film has with Andaz Apna Apna. Because Teja is a villain in this film. And Teja is, of course, a villain in Andaz Apna Apna. And of course, there are other connections as well because, you know, uh, there is a relative of um, Mogambo's in Andaz Apna Apna. So congratulations to Manisha Santosh, uh, Cyrus. Uh, you guys got the an answer absolutely spot on. Question number 16. What do Arjun Kalanda and Seema and the kids use to get out of the prison cell Mogambo has locked them in? Do they use his invisibility gadget? Do they use a rope? Do they use a magnet? Or do they use a gun? What is the answer? One, two, three, or four. Message in right now. One, two, three, or four. Okay. How did they escape from that particular prison? Okay. I mean, one answer is obvious. It's the easiest one. But what do they do to escape? In fact, uh, while we're doing this, uh, I just wanted to show you this picture. You might have missed this a few years, uh, a few months ago, this, this came out. This is a photograph, actually, of uh, uh, Mr. India standing with uh, some world leaders as well. Uh, you know, it's, uh, quite an interesting picture of Mr. India there. Uh, the correct answer to this question is a magnet. All of you got it absolutely right. That's brilliant. It's, it's nice to know that... Uh, you are thinking, you are thinking just like Mr. India. Amazing, amazing. All right, we got just about uh, three questions more to go. Um, so when Arun, Calendar, Seema and the kids, they escape from the cell, they're spotted by two scientists and two guards. What do these guys do so that they can escape? Do they beat them all up? Do they sing a song? Do they say... Hail Mogambo! Or did they run very fast? What do you think is the answer to this question? Okay. Now, you know, it's interesting because uh, the Mr. India has lots of slapstick comedy. It has a lot of serious elements to it. It has a lot of social messages in it. It has high-tech technology in it as well. And, of course, it's an all-out comedy masala movie as well. So, what do you think is the answer? How do they escape when they all see two scientists and two guards what do they do the correct answer is they say hail mogambo 
And obviously, I told you, <laughs> Mogambo has a bunch of gugus working for him. Okay, like like the world's worst useless henchman he has working for him. They're like, hey, you bola kya bola? Hell, Mogambo bola. Matlab apna hi admi hai. Chhod na. Itne bache hai. Chhod na. No problem. Because you know, bad guys are generally quite stupid. Next question. During the climax of the film, who wears the robot suit and fights the bad guys along with the kids? Is it Calendar? Is it Seema? Is it Mr. India? Or is it Mr. Gaitonde, the editor of Crimes of India? Now, it's, it's really strange because at the start of the movie, okay, they're showing us Mogambo's uh, Adda kind of thing, like his island. He has this island, and there's one robot which is walking. And the reality is that robot, when you look at it, it looks really thin. But it's quite amazing because um, at the end of the movie, uh, the robot has uh, guess who? Calendar stuck inside it. This is a picture of Calendar lifting his ha the the head of the, the the face mask like he's iron man or something so and and you know he got into robot and using that technology he, he attacked and he helped save the day because you know it's cool to do things like that uh, <laughs> well uh, most we actually got that absolutely right okay question number 19 what were mogambo's dying words was it nahi was it mera bhatija aayega which is of course uh crime master gogo or did he say hail mogambo or did he say mogambo khushua just so you know this is like a disposable puke bowl being used right now as a cheap hack Okay, what do you think is the answer? One, two, three, or four. Message in right now. Is it Nahi? Mera Bhatija aega. I just find that funny. It's like, hey! Then few years later, in Andaz Apna Apna, Crime Master Gogo comes and says, Mahu, Mogambo ka Bhatija. The correct answer is, Hail Mogambo, is what he says. It's the most pointless thing to say when you're dying and you have lost. And you were supposed to have defeated everyone and saying hell mogambo but to be fair if you said mogambo khushwa that win worse and then that would have ruined the nine times he says it in the film and made it around number 10. anyway last question after defeating mogambo and preventing four missiles from launching seema's newspaper attend, uh, uh, editor mr gaitonde wants mr india to solve which problem for him does he want him to eradicate food adulteration does he want him to repair his telephone does he want him to stop black market trade or does he want to reduce blue collar crime what is the answer one two three or four you know the answer message in right now also i must tell you guys uh, it's wonderful having all of you on the show responding and taking part make sure you share this with your friends as well and I want to do more of these. So in case you have a particular film that you want me to create questions around, just message that as well into the comments. I'll take a look at it a little later on and uh, we'll try to schedule that in as soon as possible. Also, if you go to my website, rohitjayakran.com, I've got a new section called quiz where you can take part and try out all these quiz questions as well. The correct answer was Mr. Guy Kutundes wanted Mr. India to repair his telephone. Because that's what you ask superheroes to do. Boss, mira telephone fix kar sakte Please, please, Mr. India. Well, today's winner, we've got with 16 answers absolutely correct. We've got Santosh Kumar. And once again, we've got John Epen. Both of you are right on top of the game. Uh, for some reason, the technology doesn't allow me to put two people as winners. But both of you are winners. Both of you have 16 points, which breaks the previous record, which was 14. Vanessa, you're close. You've broken your previous record, but you're on 15. Uh, Shane and Arjun, you're tied on 14 along with Cyrus. And then we've got Divya, Hazel, Chirag, um, Partha. We've got Manisha, Payal, Nafiz. 
uh, you guys have done phenomenally well. Thank you very much for participating, guys. It's wonderful having you guys on the show. It's uh, great to see all the interaction you guys give. But I really would love to know what are the other movies that you'd like me to run a quiz on. Uh, I can see Santosh saying Andaz Apna Apna, but we've done that already. That was the first one. I like the idea of Shole. I like the idea of Chennai Express. Uh, I like the idea of um, Om Shanti Om, which is like a brilliant movie to, to do questions around. You have one suggestion, just drop it in the comments. I'm going to try my best to see how I can sort that out for you guys. Thank you so much. You've been a wonderful audience. And uh, don't forget, uh, whenever I send out these invites to you, share them with your friends. It's been fun to have more and more people participating in this. And maybe one day, one day somebody will have 20 questions correct. Maybe. Right now, the record is 16. All I can say is, Mogambo, Kushua.